In this video, I'm going to share with you how to edit your Google My Business listing once you have got it verified or if you want to make any changes in the future. Okay, so I'm using an example uh, client here, uh, side click web design and marketing. Right now, we're logged into the dashboard. So if you don't know how to get here, how you get here is you log into Gmail first. And then what you do is you go to business.google.com forward slash, here's the link forward slash manage and it'll get you to this page it'll look like this okay unless you have multiple locations if you have multiple locations it'll um, prompt you to select which location you want to manage and then you'll come to this screen okay so I want to show you a couple things here how you would actually go about editing your Google My Business listing. Okay, there's a couple things here. I'm going to focus on just a few of them, and then in subsequent trainings, I'll go through all of it if you're following along here um, in this video series. So first thing we'll do is we'll actually come in here to Info. And what I, what I want to do with this listing today is I actually do want to change the name of the business okay uh, as a part of you know my talks with this client so what we're gonna do here is you can see this screen here this is the the main areas that you can actually edit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here and here's the name we wanna be able to edit the name and we're actually gonna just call it side click design that's the name of the business moving forward so so you notice that it's clicked on the edit icon there I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply the changes <laughs> Okay, so sometimes the changes aren't instant, right? So it says pending. So Google's going to come in here and it's going to, um, you know, manually allow us to change, uh, manually verify the change. Okay, other thing down here is you'll see this is the different um, selections that you can choose for the type of business that you are. So because this client offers multiple things, you know, we're making sure that all of them are represented here. So they do website design, graphic design, video production internet marketing and web hosting so if you wanted to change what your business was you could simply go in here and you could change that so you have your primary category okay and then you have the subsequent additional categories as well okay and if you want to just add them subtract them you can do that here then click apply for changes we haven't made any changes so we're gonna leave that here here's where you would change the address if you wanted to change the address okay and then down here is the hours of your business so this is a very important piece you want to make sure that the business hours are accurate. If you want to have split hours, like I know a lot of chiropractors have split hours, you would come in here and you would select the, the initial hours for Monday and then do add hours and you could do a second split of hours. You know, maybe you have a long lunch break like a chiropractor, okay? And you could do that here. Okay, you can open close different sections, that's very easy. Click apply when you're done. Okay. And then, you know, we have special hours available here. So you can actually come in here and select special hours. So um, you can change those up here if you like, if there's certain days that you take off or you want on, or you're, you know, closed for a friend's wedding, you can change that in here and update people ahead of time. This is very important if you have a store that people are walking in and out of. Okay, in here you would change the actual phone number. Okay, and then in here is where you would change the website. So this is very important. You want to make sure that the website is always updated with the right place. And then the appointment URL, if you're somebody that does massage, as an example, or you take bookings, this would be a really great place to put in your actual calendar management uh, application. That way people can go straight from your Google My Business listing and make appointments. Okay, attributes, most people are not going to to use this, but uh, one of the things that Google added recently is this women-led attribute, which is amazing, I think, if you are a woman-led business. So you want to add that here if you are that. And in the future, I think Google is going to be adding more of these attributes. Right now, it's just the women-led that is available. Okay, and then opening date, you can play with this as well. You know, maybe there's a year that you founded. You want people to know how long you've been open. And then in subsequent videos, I'm going to show you about this photo section. Okay, and so you know the advanced information most people aren't going to be actually using this but um, that's that's really it so in here is how you actually edit your your Google listing like I said in a future trainings I'm gonna I'm gonna show you more about this photo section uh, this is something new as well that you can use to your advantage inside of Google is this posts application so you can actually do a post and then when people find your business, they're going to actually see in your Google business listing that you're maybe running a special offer. That's what you would use here for the post is a special offer, or maybe you have an event coming up. You would want to put those things in here and update this regularly. I think you put a post up and it will last for about 14 days. Okay, so this is really great stuff. 
utilize it as long as you have access to it and then like I said in some of the future videos I'm gonna go in, in deep detail on this photo section because it's a very important area for you to edit that will help you show up for a lot more searches in your area and also give your customer more of an idea about what your business is about what kind of products and services that you offer so if you like this video make sure you stay tuned for the next ones also check out in the description below this video I have an advanced training on everything that I'm talking about here in this video and in subsequent videos that you might be interested in okay so with that let's move on to the next video Thanks for watching my video. If you got some value out of it, give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them as quick as possible. And then click that subscribe button if you want to get updates for all of our new upcoming content they're publishing every single day. I'll see you on the next video.